The NFL is brutal. Metcalf chase him down. The power. You train all year, you sacrifice your body, your mind, and then one play, a hit, a twist, a wrong cut, and it's over. Coming. He's in trouble. He lost the football. But what if we told you that we could see it coming? That's exactly what AI is starting to do. We've built a model trained on years of NFL data, injuries, GPS player tracking, and fatigue markers, and ran 10,000 simulations of the 2025 season. Oh! Oh! The goal? To find out which stars are most likely to break down this year. Not decline, break down, miss games, lose explosiveness. And this list? It's scary accurate. Subscribe now for weekly NFL XAI deep dives. This isn't some crystal ball, it's a pattern recognition engine. The AI looks at how fast a player slows down after a cut. It monitors a player's weekly snap counts, what type of turf they're running on, and the number of concussions uh, in the NFL, how many hits they take, their historical injury types, Ball! Up by Tim! even game temperature and recovery days. And he goes down and he might be hurt as well. Then it produces a breakdown risk score from 0 to 100. Players above 70 are in the danger zone. That doesn't mean they're doomed. It means their odds of getting hurt or losing a step are far higher than average. It's the same kind of analysis that NFL medical staffs and front offices are secretly using today. Final half minute. Let's look at some AI wins from last year. J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins. The AI flagged him with a 78% risk score. He ruptured his Achilles in week one. Dobbins slips through it. He's got Tredavious White. It takes your vision away from the field. 74% risk due to soft tissue injury history done mid-season. Tua Tagovailoa. It looks like a, a two-man coverage. 65% risk, flagged for high-impact head trauma potential. Full time for Tua winding up, going, he's got water! He ended up leading the league in concussion alerts. The scary part? It also predicted lower-grade breakdowns, like Derrick Henry's dip in acceleration, and Najee Harris's fatigue rate increasing in the red zone. First NFL touchdown for Najee Harris. So yeah, when the AI talks, we listen. Let's start with Cup. In 2021, he looked like Jerry Rice 2.0. But now, recurring hamstring issues, that nagging ankle, and a Rams offense that no longer protects him. We're going to Disneyland! AI tracked a 9% decline in his top end speed and a growing delay between plant and pivot, a key metric for receivers. Combine that with age 32 and a questionable offensive line, and the AI gives him an 84% breakdown score. It's not personal, it's physics. Mike Evans is the definition of reliability. 10 straight 1,000 yard seasons, but the AI says 2025 could snap the streak. His deceleration time, Basically, how fast he stops mid-route has dropped sharply. Add tighter DB coverage and a new QB system, and the result is strain. Field. To the air. To the air. Hamstrings, knees, fatigue. Evans isn't washed, but the model gives him a one in two chance of missing games. First catch by someone not named. Here's the big one. CMC, the AI's highest profile risk for 2025. Off sweet McCaffrey, stiff arm. He had over 400 touches in 2024. Christian McCaffrey spinning his way down to the 40. That's a number that only a handful of running backs in history have recovered from the next season. Most fall off the following year. The AI flagged quad fatigue, turf exposure, and a 15% decline in lateral burst. Translation, he's vulnerable especially mid to late season. Eckler's always overperformed expectations until 2024. It's been off, guys. Everybody looks up. His acceleration dropped, ankle stability metrics dipped, and now he's behind a weak commander's O-line. AI simulates eight games missed on average due to cumulative ankle and calf strain, the kind of stuff that doesn't show up in headlines until it does. Rodgers is back from the Achilles, but the data says not for long. AI shows reduced torque, less lower body stability, and a drop in mobility pressure success. The numbers say he has a 40% chance of missing multiple games, 
and a high regression risk if the Jets can't protect him early. New this year, and after spending three years with the Rams... Fields is a walking highlight reel, but he's taking too many hits. He had one of the highest contact rates per play in the league. The AI flagged a dangerous pattern, increased rib and shoulder exposure in collapsing pockets, especially when scrambling late. Garrett played over 90% of snaps last season, but even elite pass rushers hit the wall. It was an easy decision for me. Mm -hmm. Have my family there. The AI shows muscle fatigue buildup in lower back and knees. He's not slowing down yet, but the warning lights are on. Fred Warner is the heart of the 49ers defense, but his risk score is rising. It's not about tackles, it's about repetition. Warner's GPS data shows declining recovery rates between high impact collisions. If he stays on this pace, groin strain risk spikes mid-season. This one hurts. Kelsey is the GOAT-TE of his era, but at 35, the AI is waving flags. His separation rate dropped under 2.0 yards per route for the first time. His Y-axis fell below 5.0. And his fatigue rate, second highest among tight ends. The AI still respects his IQ, but the body might finally be slowing down. If you play fantasy football, this is your warning. CMC, Kelsey, Fields, they're elite, but high risk. You might need to handcuff earlier, draft safer, and expect a few painful Sundays. Also flagged, Josh Allen's overuse. Allen is down. T. Higgins' injury history, even B. Jen Robinson in a flag for high contact per touch. Imagine this, AI controls the snap count. It knows when a player's fatigue is spiking. It benches him automatically, or recommends fewer routes, or pulls a starter before something tears. Scary? Maybe, but some teams are already testing this in training camp. Player health alerts, soft tissue fatigue tracking, AI scouting reports. The future isn't coming, it's already inside the NFL. 49ers back out of it. Brissett giving time. Not everyone on this list is a superstar, but the AI sees risk under the surface. Tony Pollard, overused last year, flagged for reduced cutting speed. Just this 30 yarder earlier and both touchdown count. George Pickens, hamstring history plus high snap load. Lamar Jackson. Wow. Slight lateral imbalance noticed post week 13 last season. Debo Samuel. Flagged for torquey imbalance in shoulder lower body rotation. These aren't guarantees, but there are warning signs. This isn't just about fantasy. This is about legacy. Contracts, careers. Teams are already adjusting player contracts based on injury analytics. If your data says you're a high-risk player, it affects money, playing time, endorsements, and fans. We just want to see our stars healthy. But this new tech, it might help teams decide when to rest a player before disaster strikes. So, do you believe the AI? Or are these just cold numbers misreading the human heart? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think won't make it through 2025 healthy? And hit that sub button if you want to see more, because next week, we're revealing the top five rookies the AI says will dominate the league. And one of them isn't even a week one starter. Stay smart, stay curious, and we'll see you on the next play.